What's up YouTube, Ben Bon here and welcome to another vlog. So I just got the Fujifilm S Pro 2. It wasn't really in my plans to get the S Pro 2. Since I bought the Fujifilm X-T30, I've always wanted to um, buy a second body. And I was actually really looking at the Fujifilm X-T2 as a second body. Fortunately, I got somebody who was selling his S Pro 2. He's used it for a while, but wanted to i think get the fujifilm xt3 and so i was like why not he was selling it at a really good price and even though he's used it it's really clean and it made sense for me to get it instead of getting the fujifilm xt2 i've mentioned before that i always love to buy used stuff i don't necessarily need to buy uh new gear like when i'm buying a gear i don't necessarily have to buy it brand new i always check to see if i can get a used version which usually is cheaper uh, before I consider buying a brand new one. So this is it. It's really clean and I really love it. He was kind enough to add this uh, case and grip to it and I really, really love it. He also gave me an extra battery. So it came with two batteries, two original Fujifilm batteries. <laughs> I also added this strap to it. Uh, this strap came with my film camera, which like gives it that whole elite kind of look and so i'm officially entered into the level of eliteness in photography <laughs> another thing is that it's a lot bigger in my hand compared to my fujifilm xt30 which i could fit in my pocket it's a lot different from my fujifilm xt30 the design is totally different first is the design is it has the what they call the rangefinder design. And so the viewfinder is on the left of the camera uh, compared to my X-T30, which the viewfinder is kind of in the middle. And so uh, people love it because they can use their right eye, look into the viewfinder and I mean, also use their left eye to see whatever. But I use my left eye to look through my viewfinder. So it's always like that for me, but I need to get used to it because I'm, anytime I pick it up, I'm always trying to move into the middle. <laughs> so the second thing that's also different, like on the S Pro 2 is the screen. Now the screen is not a flip screen, it's fixed at the back compared to the Fujifilm X-T30, um, which I really wish, you know, Fujifilm has this, apart from the flip screen, it also has this side flip that I really wish they added to this camera, but I mean, I'm okay with it being fixed. Also, I like to say that this camera is actually a photographer's camera, like it's designed for specific people and for specific photographers. And so if you're not that type of photographer, you really, really enjoy the X-Pro2. So also the body is weather sealed and it's kind of tough. So even though it's a used camera, uh the person who showed it to me used it for i think a year or two it still looks great like it's really clean in the body nothing has happened to the body no scratches it's just clean another thing also different compared to my fujifilm xt30 is the viewfinder the viewfinder on the s pro 2 has the electronic viewfinder and also the optical viewfinder which which i don't get uh, so I still really like I, I need to look into it because like I don't understand the optical viewfinder I have to actually like spend some time and know why but it's something that I don't need like I use the electronic viewfinder which works perfectly for me so the optical viewfinder is not really like a need for me for the kind of photography I do and so but yeah that's how the viewfinder on the S Pro 2 is designed the button here is for that um, you, you press it to switch between electronic viewfinder and obscure viewfinder whichever one works for you another thing that's also different on the, the Fujifilm S Pro 2 are the dials you know usually most uh, Fujifilm cameras has uh, three dials one for shutter speed, one for ISO, and one for um, exposure compensation. But on the Fujifilm X Pro 2, there's two dials, which is one dial has two functions. The shutter dial at the same time behaves as the ISO dial. So if you want to change your ISO, you have to hold it up and turn it to change your ISO, which is 
a bit confusing i mean if you're not used to it so as i said it's something that i need to i need to get used to this camera and how the dials are on the camera so still on the dials uh the maximum shutter speed on the fujifilm x pro 2 is 1 8 000 of a second which i'm happy about that because uh when i was talking about my st30 the st30 has a maximum shutter speed of 1 4 000. you can use the electronic shutter speed to go up higher but i don't really use the electronic shutter speed so having one eight thousand of a second as mechanical shutter on the s pro 2 is i'm happy about that now in terms of video the fujifilm s pro 2 is is not the camera that like you should expect a lot from in terms of video as i said this camera is a photographer's camera it's not a camera that i think they designed with videographers in mind with video i think it shoots 4k and um, the normal 1080 60 frames and all of that but it doesn't shoot f-log for color grading and so i'm glad that i have the fuji from xt30 because it has the f-log and that's super slow motion and all of that so lastly one thing that i noticed when i tested this camera is the fact that i realized that my fujifilm xt30 is a lot faster this camera quite reminded me of my fujifilm xt2 you know i guess because they all came in the same era so they kind of have sim similarities in terms of speed since the fujifilm xt30 is a newer camera and i think that also the sensor is different and the whole mechanism on the fujifilm xt30 is is a lot different and faster so i understand but it's not a problem for me i'm happy with it this camera is just good enough for my style of photography and so it's great i'm also glad that i have the fujifilm xt30 to complement it yeah so that's about it if in my testing and shooting with it i come across something that i think i need to talk about i'll do a video about it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out my t-shirt shop on teespring buy a t-shirt or a hoodie to support the channel i'll see you in the next one